Hello from Entertainment News Greece. We are here with Vasilia Nice, a fashion designer. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Tell us please why in Greece and how you became a fashion designer. Um, so I became a fashion designer kind of by accident. Um, I, I did have a background in film and theater. I always loved sci-fi movies and shows. Um, I did some costuming, some wardrobe for, you know, movie sets. Um, but then, you know, because I was a software engineer and it was a very logical job and I'm a creative person, I wanted something more creative. So I took a sketching fashion design seminar for fun and I fell in love with it. So I actually signed up and did the whole program and then you know uh, once I finished in June I started working on my current collection um, Galactic Geisha and um, yeah and then I got an award as well and now it's it, it keeps going and it's been it's been great so far okay your designs are from the future <laughs> thank you <laughs> and uh, tell me what is different between you and the other fashion designers? Um, so my, uh, my garments are very unique in the sense that they are futuristic and quite bizarre. Uh -huh. There's a lot of different little pieces and, and trims and patches that are have come in to create each, each piece. Um, a lot of the fabrics, the print is, is mine. Mm -hmm. um, so it's like a space jungle print. And I did it on different fabrics as well. So I did it on organic cotton from Portugal, which is the denim that we have. I did it um, from crushed velvet. Um, I did it on like a, a, a silk that has kind of like a snaky texture on it. Um, what else? And then I use some other weird fabrics that I don't know if you'd even call them fabrics. It's like PVC plastic, mm -hmm. but with these 3D um, shapes around it. Um, so it gives that futuristic feel, right? And, and I want everybody who wears it to feel kind of like a, an alien cosmic galactic royalty. Um, just to remember their, their origins because, you know, how there's that meme going around on the internet that we're all made from stardust. But scientifically, that's true, right? So kind of bring people back to their, remember where, where they came from, from a more spiritual kind of, uh, and scientific, I guess, sense. Yeah. All right. And how many years did you study before the fashion studies? Um, like, you mean, what, how long have you been doing the fashion design? No. How long have you been doing what you were doing before? Oh, the software engineering. Um, since 2016, so like four or five oh, years. Oh, so five years. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. you've worked before in other jobs? Yes, I was uh, I was a hypnotherapist before that. And before that, I was in, in film theater. I did the screenwriting, directing, acting. Um, and then I studied molecular biology. <laughs> so I've, I've done the talent. Thank you. I just wanted to try everything before I, you okay. know, die. <laughs> no, you tried everything and now you tried fashion. And now I love it. I think that's my calling. That's your calling? Maybe also film still, but like, I, this is definitely my, okay. my passion, yeah. You were telling me that uh, your uh, designs are from a story. What's the story? Yeah, so I came up with like a sci-fi narration story and that's how I base my, my clothes. So each garment is a character mm -hmm. um, in the story. Um, so it's basically the, um, the first, it's just like a trilogy, right? I had a collection before this one that was 3D printed and I, it didn't actually end up doing it, but it was the portfolio. Uh, so in the first uh, chapter, there's these uh, fembots and, and aliens mm -hmm. that are fighting the galactic regime that's very oppressive for eons. And then in this collection, the Milky Way Oasis, they won the war, but the war devastated everything, all their planets. So they basically are rebuilding everything, their, their ecosystem, their environment. They're working together to rebuild the Milky Way and make it an oasis like it used to be. Um, and that's why the, the space jungle print. It's also like a metaphor for our environment, to protect our environment. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the fabrics are sustainable, like the organic uh, denim. Um, they're dead stock, right? So it's fabrics that haven't been used that I used in the collection. Um, and then, uh, yeah, so pretty much about the environment. Also, space junk, which is, do you know what space junk? It's like the satellites, they're leaving all this stuff out in the, yes. so it, that we're also polluting our space, the galaxy. <laughs> so it's kind of like that as well. We, we transcended the earth and now we're polluting the universe. 
Um, so kind of bring awareness back to that and, and, and try to get people to be a little more aware of how they're, they're you know, using up the resources. That's a very nice uh, thought. I want to ask you, how am I supposed, and all the women that are wearing your clothes, to feel when they wear them? Uh, I want them to feel like space royalties, <laughs> alien, galactic. Like I have a, I have um, a alien priestess one mm -hmm. that looks kind of like an ancient Egyptian priestess. But you know how they used to say that, uh, or they say uh, there's a theories that mm -hmm. um, ancient Egypt came from aliens. Kind of like, oh, so this is the ancient Egyptian priestess from back then in space when she was an alien priestess, and I want them to wear and feel like they're part of the universe. They're they're what I was saying about the world stardust, right? So feel their alien origins because in a way we are alien because we are made out of the cosmos. Whether you believe in aliens or not, doesn't matter. Um, so yeah, and, and to basically bring out their innermost potential because if we are made of the cosmos, then our potential is unlimited and we can achieve pretty much anything we want and the only limits we place are upon ourselves. Um, so kind of a reminder of, of that. All right. And the last question. I am not the queen. You are. are you going to design something? <laughs> no. Are you going to design something for working women like us? Yeah, of course. Uh, I have. Um, I'm gonna make like a office kind of or business uh, garments that are like one. I'm gonna do is kind of Chanel style, but it's gonna be kind of um, deep red, and then the trims will be um, thunderbolts. Mm -hmm. So it's still got a little bit like pizzazz of like the space, but it's more formal, you know, for, for conferences, for the office. And I also did another collection that was um, um, office fairies. So basically it's the fairies that work um, at the headquarters of Fairyland. Um, and they are, you know, the bureaucrats. So I made a collection. Mm -hmm. So you would be great for that since you look like a yes, fairy. Yes, but I have another <laughs> idea. Yes. Uh, you might... Uh design something for doctors? Yeah, of course. Why not? Great. Yes. <laughs> I'm That's a great idea. Idea every day. That's a great idea. <laughs> so you're going to be with me every day. That's a great idea. I actually did um, a, a website, an e-shop for scrubs, for unique scrubs uh, back in the States. Like more and more, um, more fashionable uh, scrubs. Oh, I love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So why not? <laughs> okay. So I'm looking forward for your new collection. And uh, I'm going to wish you happy holidays. Thank you. And you thank too. you very much. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. <laughs> Bye.